Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to another weekly edition of Southern Round. It's your boy, Kevin Mack. I'm back. I was, oh man, I can't stop laughing because, listen, if you've been to Southern Rounds before, you, guys, I'm so sorry. The Southern Rounds is a songwriter in the round experience that we've been doing since uh, September of last year when COVID hit. We were like, yo, man, let's let's throw something together because we can't play shows. Let's get on uh, the, the internet and do some live shows with each other. And we've been inviting some of our favorite songwriters, some of the best songwriters in the world. And um, that's no difference tonight. So if you're new to Southern Rounds, uh, welcome. You're going to enjoy this. We got a, we got some heavy hitters in us, there with us tonight. And I would like just to talk about the elephant in the room. I have a mustache and I shaved this two days ago and I didn't realize it was going to look so bad. But And I'm looking at dude, myself. Dude, that's like but, a Magnum P. Dude. Straight come, up, dog. Straight up. Do y'all like it or no? Is it bad? It's, no, when it gets to be no a comment. PI, it's going to be fantastic. Sweet, bro. It's a P right now. So this, it's almost there. I know, dude. This is, But the sad thing is this is three weeks of growing this. So I'm, <laughs> I'm screwed, man. Anyways, I don't want to look at myself anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and hop it over to the homies. We got John... Driscoll Hopkins from the Zach Brown Band up in the house today. How you doing, John? Yeah. Now look at John's facial hair. He's 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 the king of it. He's the, that's what I want. And I'm so embarrassed. John, I feel so embarrassed that you have to look at my magnum, whatever you said, mustache. But well, it's a it's a TV show from the '80s called Magnum PI with Tom Selleck. So you oh, okay. could call it the Selleck. I got when the it, Selleck. When it goes, when it comes in strong, it'll be a Selleck. Sick. I'm gonna yeah. work. I, oh, that's dude. what I'm reaching for. He's bro. still like the best looking dude in show business. Show business. So, well, <laughs> aspirational. I'm, I, I'm gonna get there, man. John, like we said, he's with the Zach Brown Band. You know, John, you're you're from you're in Georgia right now. You're in your studio in Georgia. Yeah. John, has got a dope studio in Georgia. He's written some huge song, man. Like some of my favorite songs that you writ, wrote off that Foundation record, that first Zach Brown record, man, are just. I listen to him all the time, man. I I I I love your music. Um, you're such a talented musician. Keith Stagall, by the way, told me to tell you hello. Awesome. And sings high, talks high praises of you. And we are going to show the people tonight what he talks about, what we all know. What are you going to play for us first, John? <clears throat> well, um, I, I'm going to play a song that I've been playing for a couple of years now, and we just. Uh, we put it out in November, but the holidays swallowed it up, and and we didn't really have publicity on it. So I'm going to keep pushing it. It's called Missing You All All the Time, and the record came out in uh, February. So when this came out in November, um, I didn't feel like it, it got enough, uh, enough hoopla. So I'm going to hoop it. Now, John, uh, this is from your band, right? Yes. And what is your band called? Your personal band is what the it's name? Just under my name, just under John Driscoll Hopkins. We we end up playing with as a trio and yeah. as a, uh, a a duo sometimes and a quartet, but it's normally a seven piece band. Sick. It's kind of, it's kind of like my version of Zach Brown Band, um, with a little differences here and there, and 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 me on lead, you know. But um, well, come on with it, buddy. Let's hear it. Yeah, dude. We got a little lyric video on my Instagram for this one, and it's on Facebook too. So uh, check it out. Ain't missing you all, all the time. Hurricane to south of New Orleans. Kept it stuck just north of Slidell. Now we gotta double back down to Houston, where it's hot as hell. Got a message from my daughter. Wish I could have picked up the phone. Don't you dare miss my birthday, Daddy. Please come home. God, I hope I can with a little faith and the grace of god i'll be on my way missing you all the time all day long every night till night turns into dawn Missing you all, all the time, everywhere I look, I swear I see you there, you with my whole world of 
around you, girl. I'm missing you all, all the time. I've been keeping up with the pictures. Every night they put me to bed. And that little ballerina keeps dancing, dancing in my head. I'll bet you're standing there at the window. Don't let her think her daddy don't care. Kiss her cheek and tell her I love her. And I'm almost there. Tell her keep the faith. God, I hope she can. By the grace of God, I'm going to make it. I'm going to make it. I'm missing you all the time. All day long. Every night, the night turns into dawn. Missing you all, all the time, everywhere I look, I swear I see you there, you with my whole world around you, girl, missing you all, all the time and time again, I swear. I'll never miss a moment, I'll always be there, but the world keeps spinning me round and round and round. I keep a reaching for you. I keep a reaching for you. I keep a reaching for you. I've been missing you all the time, all day long. Every night till night turns into dawn Missing you all, all the time Everywhere I look I swear I see you there You with my whole world Round you, girl, I'm missing you all I'm missing you all, all the time. Come on now, John Driscoll Hopkins. Hop, yeah, man. Missing you all the time. That is on his album Lonesome High, right? Yeah. Track, no, track number seven, I believe, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, I just looked it up. I'm on it, man. You're I'm on, on it. I'm You're on, on top it, Magnum. Of it. Hey, John, when you did, listen, so on your Instagram, man, when y'all were touring stuff, you would, I know, like, there were things that you would do. I think it was like when you were in different cities, when you I, when you were with Zach, or was it on your, t- what were you doing? Like, you would stop and you'd have your guitar and you would stop and put clips up of songs. Well, was that- it was that was the video for um, the Lonesome High song, which actually came out in 2019. That's right. This is how long I've been working on this record and how long it's been done. I, I had it. I had that song finished in 2019 and was planning to release the record in the spring and then COVID. And it's like, OK, summer uh fall yeah and and it was like this done sitting there at the house um so we released another single in the fall which was that song and then released a record i mean a year and a half after lonesome eye came out yeah so it's been a mess but it's exciting to have it out now and and uh it, it, we worked on it for several years and yeah uh, and it's just it took another year and a half to release it I understand, bro. I understand. I'm, I was in the same boat. So it gets to the point where you're like, hey, you, you worked on it. It's sitting there. You want people to hear it. And it's a blessing to put it out, I think, during COVID where people, what did they do? They sat at home. They needed music. They needed television. They needed Netflix. They needed the art to help yeah. feed them while they were in quarantine. So God bless you for putting it out, my friend. And y'all check that out. His record's out. And, uh, you know, I like to call this a pick, pick, pass 
you know, 420 was the other day, and that's Puff Puff Pass, but we're going to pick pick pass <laughs> to uh, my brothers from another mother sitting out in South Carolina. Y'all give it up for yesterday's wine, Levi Lowry, White Durrett. How you doing, boys? What's up, man? Good to see you. Yeah. Chilling. How Chilling. Chilling, man. So, um, you guys are regulars. You know, this is uh, Southern Rounds. Was uh, This is Wyatt, I, Wyatt and uh, our our friend uh, Richard Blackstone's baby, and we've been pushing this thing out. And so, um, looks like we're going to be playing the Carolina Country Music Festival here in June with Southern Rounds, so it's going to be fun to get yeah, back man. on stage. Um, but, boys, who's going first? Is someone going first, or are we going as Yesterday's Wine? How do y'all want to do it? Um, we're going to sing one together that right. uh, isn't a Yesterday's Wine song. Um, it's, a, it's a newer song. Uh, that was actually written in the room we're in right now, and, uh, and, and uh, on IOP with you, Mr. Matt. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, it's funny where they come from, man, and how they line up. This uh, I wrote the first verse of this song, and a decent part of the chorus in uh, the Abacos. I was down there, and I just gotten there, and the sun was setting right, and the drinks were tasting right, and Sam was feeling great, and uh, these words just kind of came out. And then we had just finished writing a, another song. Yeah. Uh, you and I and uh, Levi and Patrick Davis and uh, I was literally walking out of the room and he starts playing this lick. Kevin starts playing this lick and I turned around surprised. I was like, what is that? And he's like, I didn't take it. It's like, <laughs> I know you didn't. I was like, but what is it? Like, play it again. And it matched perfectly to the lyric I had written and he had never heard the song. It's just wild how this kind of stuff happens. But uh, this song, I think you're, you might hear it someday soon. Um, it's called Easy Tonight. Sun dipping down neath them cotton candy clouds as it dances around on the wall. Soft southern breeze covers me like a blanket as a bartender brings me another. It's going down easy tonight. Man, he's mixing me up just right. Between this drink in my hand and a seed in the sand, it's going down easy. Sometimes the stars light up just right, then it isn't. It's going down easy tonight. Ain't it good when it all feels right? I think the smile on her lips might lead to a kiss. It's going down easy tonight. Moon keeps rising, my tab keeps on climbing. Climbing and tomorrow's creeping close, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It's going down easy tonight. Ain't it good when it all feels right? I got my drink in my hand and a seed in the sand. It's going down easy tonight. I think that smile on her lips, it might lead to a kiss. I'm going down easy tonight. I think that song has a good future. Yeah, yeah. Good future. yeah that was a that was a fun writing retreat. And that that day, I'll just say this: that they always say in writing, just show up. And that was a day. I'm glad I showed up. So uh, <laughs> that was, that was so, crazy. yeah, that was crazy, man. I remember. I can I can visually see you walking out, Wyatt, and you're singing that, and it was like, hold on, man. It was so weird, but you know, they're they're gifts. Good songs are good gifts, man, and that's a great song, man. It's all magic, man. That's it. That's Can't wait to day. see. I really think that. I really think so. Absolutely, man. I'm still that, that's just trying to learn that guitar part better. I, 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 I get it. I'm so I, focused on the guitar part, I forgot I was supposed to sing the second verse. Yeah, I kept yeah. looking at you. Like, I, like, I, was, I was just like, well, I guess I'll play it again because he's not singing yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it sounds good, though, Levi. <laughs> Levi Lowry, White Durrett, Yesterday's Wine. They got a record out you can check out. It's on. Um, it is on iTunes and Spotify. You can buy. You can go ahead and buy it and um, 
They uh, These guys are hit songwriters and good friends from a long time back, and they put a duo together, and they're regulars here on Southern Round. So they're just uh, just banging and twanging, y'all. We gonna so Do y'all want to do another one? Does Levi want to do one? What do y'all want to do? Let's, to let's go to Johnny. All right, come on. This is just as laid back, people. We do this all the time. Yeah, Southern Rounds is so laid back. We going we just do whatever the hell we want, man. We just sing songs and have fun. We hope you're enjoying yourself. We're here every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Southern Rounds. Um, my boy Dave Kennedy, he's been taking some hosting duties and crushing it. Uh, we're just having fun, man. Just writing songs and having a good time. So, John, you're back up to the to home plate, man. Once yeah, it's, it's more on. like it's more like a badminton game with two songwriters going back and forth. Like it's not. It's not yeah. really a round, is it? It's more like a You're t- yeah, exactly a volley, a yeah. volley, if you will. <laughs> pitch there it, you go. pitch it to you. <laughs> good to see your face, John Driscoll Hopkins. It's good to see your face, brother. Good <laughs> to see everyone's faces, and um, you know we're we're around in the corner. I don't know if everyone's been vaccinated, but I have, and I'm ready to get back out. There Hell yeah, and, uh, we call them our Fauci ouchies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and I got the Johnson and Johnson. I did too. <laughs> All right, John. Yeah. We'll we'll die together. I'm, I'm waiting kidding. for my clot. You know, I'm waiting <laughs> for my my blood clot to just bro, knock me on my ass. Bro, the morning Don't I woke up. Stop it. Stop it. Bro, I ain't shitting you. I woke up that morning, right? And I turn on the news and they said that and everyone get vaccinated. It's important. I believe in it. Who cares? I put worse shit into my system. But dude, I turned on the news and it said Johnson Johnson blood clot. I swear to God, my legs started going numb. And I'm like, oh, all day long, my leg was numb. And I was kissing my son. I was like, it was good being your dad, son. I was walking to Jackie. I was like, just make, I got an insurance policy. You guys are going to be okay. But I'm still here, man. Had a headache today, but I think it was sinuses. Power but mind, dude. That's mind. it, dude. I swore, swear to God, my leg was numb. And I was like, here it goes. I'm coming, Lord. Yeah. But it's it's scary. But, you know, I mean, it's a lot scarier not to not be protected. 100%. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> and you know, I I'm just uh, excited to to get back out there and and do what we love to do. Yeah, man. Um, you still there, John? I think the John. I think John John froze. That's okay. With, with full hugs and. Oh, he's hello. back. There he is. There yeah, you there? Back. Can you can you hear us? Yeah, I just extolled some real badass wisdom on everyone. I, I know, dude, but what happened, I'm going to tell you what happened. Jay and Jay heard us talking shit and froze you. So uh, yeah. it's, <laughs> you know how it is, dude. But <laughs> yeah, I just dropped some really deep shit on y'all and you missed it. <laughs> Damn it. Welcome to Southern Round. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> that deep. Oh, man. Well, play us a song, John. <laughs> yes, that deep. <laughs> Well, they do go down easy, and um, and I was I was trying, you know, a lot of these rounds, it's like, well, whatever they do, I'm going to try to find something that fits with that next tune. And I normally would reserve this one for later in the set when I might go make myself a whiskey, but um, but I thought that uh, that maybe I'll go ahead and do it. This is the uh, the third release off of my uh, my just now released record. It's called "I Hate to See Good Whiskey Go to Waste." And it's um, it's actually a, a video that that's out there that we did on this one where I had some you know some good friends uh, acting in it and a new friend um, Rob Lawhorn acted in it. We went to Georgia together and uh, Katie Tebow uh, acted in it and Alex Guthrie acted in it. So we had a big time making this and um, wrote this with my friend Jerry Sally and. Uh, and have really enjoyed watching it uh, get a lot of streams on Spotify. So thank you guys for spinning that and check out that video if you haven't done that yet. Starts like this. We were here the night she said that she didn't love me anymore. I'm still drinking doubles, but they're not working like before. There's a hundred top shelf bottles here to satisfy my taste. Losing her taught me how much I hate to see good whiskey go to waste. A 
see a crowd there in the corner and the way they let it pour it's clear they don't have a clue just what the good stuff's for watch them raise their glasses dance and laugh then i hear the bottle break Reminding me just how much I hate to see good whiskey go to waste. Hate to see good whiskey go to waste. Love the way it numbs an old heart Give up one more memory with every step I take. Man, I hate to see good whiskey go to Now the chairs are on the tables and I hear someone yell last call. I stumble to the doorway and I pray that I don't fall. I turning out the lights, but I swear I still see her face. I haven't filled a single drop, but man, I hate to see good whiskey go to waste. Hate to see good whiskey go to waste. Love the way it numbs an old heartache. Give up one more Every step I take, man, I hate to see good whiskey go to waste. Yeah, I give up one more memory with every step I take. Lord, I hate. See good whiskey go to waste. Come on now. Hobby, come on with it. Come on with it, man. Great song, brother. Awesome. Thank you, brother. Listen, you so ridiculous. Hop. As y'all, all right, everyone knows John has his band. He puts out records. He's got a studio. He writes great songs, and he is a multi musician, singer, and the writer for the Zach Brown Band. And I just want to make a point. I met Wyatt through a guy named that I work with named Keith Stagall, and what and Wyatt wrote and Levi and and John have all written for um, Zach Brown Band. But what I'm trying to get at is. You know, Keith used to, it would tell me stories about you in the studio, Hop, and just how good your ear was and how good of a harmony singer you were and how great of a bass player you were. And that song you just sang, my question being is because I you just have like perfect pitch. And it's like you would stop playing the guitar. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, I mean, your we pitch. You said the same thing. I was like, that dude never misses, does but, he? Dude, he, do, he doesn't miss and he wasn't I'll show even. i you the Pro Tools files. I miss a lot. <laughs> well, the thing is, dude, it's like you're not even, like I'm sitting here listening to it. You're not even playing the guitar. You're right on time. P pitch is perfect. And it's like, what you're, and the people watching, the Zach, I'm such a fan of the Zach Brown band. You know, I cut my teeth on that in college. The songs are incredible. The musicianship, you're seeing that now. Like this, it's just like Wyatt says earlier, it's magic. It comes together. And it's just it's such a pleasure just to listen to you play your songs that you've written. And it, it just blows me away. You And so my question is, on the record, is it like that? Is it just acapella? And then y'all kick back in? Like, yeah. or is it? <clears throat> yeah, it's similar, except the band kicks in and out, you know, um, 
Man, thank you for saying all that. I'm I'm so blessed to be able to play with with such ninjas and and Jedi, you know. Yeah. And and they all they they all make me strive to be better. And and you know, I record a lot of great people, and 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 I'm able to to witness uh, a lot of incredible stuff. And and I think I learn from all that. It's very kind of you to. Your See ear, is, your ear is a ninja, bro. Like you got a great ear, man. Man, and I'll tell you, it's funny in the studio. I've been in the studio a lot with John and the band or whatever. But whenever there's a pitch issue or trying to find a chord, literally Hop will be back in the corner playing on his phone, and Zach will go, "Hop, what is it?" And Hop will even look yeah. from his phone. He'll just go, "Ah, uh, this is what it is." Like, okay, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, that's what Keith said. That's what Keith said. I'm like, listening. Hop, I'm, what is I'm, it? I'm killing listening giants and dragons, but I'm listening. <laughs> Oh man, such you know, a great I, song. I, it's actually this moment just now. I was, I was singing that spot, and the guitar kept resonating. So every time I thought, "Am I getting off?" I'd hear, I'd hear, bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, "Oh, thanks, guitar." That, that's John. <laughs> that's like, Johnson and Johnson's doing that. That's there, right. That's you? right. That's them. I've got this third arm growing out of my rib cage. <laughs> <laughs> and it just kind of taps on the guitar in the back. That's what, thank you, Johnson and Johnson. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> that's, that's hop, y'all. Hey, we want to shout out Richard, the outhouse from Virginia Beach, my boy, Jeff Mame. Outhouse, outhouse is in the house every every week. Two chances. Brian, Martha T., thank you guys so much for tipping. All the tips that you give to Southern Round goes to the artist, y'all. And Southern Round's every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. We're going to pick, pick, pass it to the boys in South Kakalaki, Wyatt, and Levi. And guys, and, and and what do you got for us? What are you gonna do? Come on. I'm gonna do Levi's one. I was gonna do one. All right. I'm gonna do this. This is a newer song that I wrote for my dad. He, we, we lost him back in uh, August. Uh, August of last year, and I wanted to write him a song, and I, I but I didn't want it to be a, a sad tune. I figured that if anything, we should approach it like Shel Silverstein did, and so I actually um, got together with Dave Kennedy and, and wrote this one my dad the apple looked up to the tree said when you gonna let go of me you've been hanging on for so long now it's time for me to fall Time for me to fall The tree looked down at the apple green Said falling sun ain't all it seems It's a long way down and that ground is hard Let me hold you for a while Let me hold you for a while when the strong wind comes and the rain comes down It's me who keeps you safe and sound Let me plant one seed there in your heart You can roll away but don't roll far Roll away but don't roll far The apple looked up to the tree so high Said I did not know I could not fly where am I supposed to go from here? There ain't no place left to fall No place left to fall the tree looked down at the apple red Told the apple boy just use your head The way to grow up strong and tall It's right there in your heart it's right there in your heart It's when the strong wind blows and the rain comes down It's me who keeps you safe and sound Let me plant one seed there in your heart You can roll away, but don't roll far Roll away, but don't roll far Tree said, I ain't ready yet 
for you to leave. The tree looked up and said, can't you see? You got branches of your own. You got branches of your own. When the strong wind blows and the rain comes down, it's me who keeps you safe and sound. Let me plant one seed there in your heart. You can roll away, but don't roll far. Roll away, but don't roll far. You can roll away, but don't roll far. Roll away, but don't roll far. apple looked up to the tree and said when you gonna let go of me never come on Jeez. what a beautiful song man i song. love that song that's Thank awesome you. levi Thank so you, good man Woo. Wow. that's one of those like you hear it and i was like man i wish i wrote that yeah right that's one of <laughs> I, those. I wish i wrote all of the shit levi and wyatt wrote <laughs> amen i got you buddy amen, all of man. it Levi, well, I'm, gonna such stay, a- I'm gonna stay on that topic, man. I'm gonna sing a song like um, yesterday. I got to hug my father for the first time in all right, almost two years, and uh, something so menial and that seem that seems that way, you know. A lot of those things we've all uh, realized we take for granted, you know. Yeah. Um, and he's actually here. He's sitting right here. I can't even look at him right now after listening to that song. So I might <laughs> lose my shit, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, this is a song I wrote. Uh, I was lucky enough to uh, be raised by my hero at the end of the day. Um, and uh, this song was a, a Zach Brown Band song. And I was going through something, you know, that a very a very adult thing that I had to, uh, you know, try to teach my kid or, or, or let them know that was all going to be okay and that no matter what we loved him and uh every other weekend i had to pick him up in augusta georgia i drive from atlanta and we'd meet halfway and uh so this song was most of it was written on that road on interstate 20 um uh, i had to make it highway because uh, interstate doesn't sing well but uh this song's called highway 20 rock <laughs> But if I had it my way, a day would not be wasted on this drive. I want so bad to hold you, son, there's things I haven't told you. Your mom and me, we couldn't get along. So I drive. I think about my life I wonder why That I slowly die inside Every time I turn that truck around Right at the Georgia line I count the days And the miles back home On that highway 20 right They might calm you realize that if you see through my eyes, there was no other way to work it out. But part of you might hate me, but son, please don't mistake me for a man who didn't care at all. Cause I will drive. I think about my life I wonder why And I slowly die inside Every time I turn that truck around Right at the Georgia line I count the days And the miles back home to you On that highway
when you drop Man, those years, they go flying by I hope you smile Yeah, if I ever cross your mind It was a pleasure of my life And I cherished every time Cause my whole world It begins and ends with you On that highway 20 ride WFLS, that was Highway 20 Ride, Zach Brown Band on Virginia's... I can't tell you how many times I said that. What a timeless song, man. What a timeless song. Beautiful song, beautiful tribute to your son. That's a gift that one day when the Lord calls you home, he's going to have forever. You know, what a great gift, you know, that he'll always have. I mean, I hope that's a long time from now, but it's a... Me too. You know know what I'm trying to say. I got that J&J, man. I'm not going to (laughs) die. I like to just say something real quick, and you know, John, John said I was Magnum PI. Levi, I've seen, I haven't seen you in a hot minute, yeah. and I always see you with your. I think it's the minor league, uh, that minor league base Georgia Gwinnett, team. Gwinnett Strivers. Bro, right now I'm gonna show you a picture of who you're reminding me of right now, dude. Straight Forrest up, Gump. Forrest Gump, Gump, Gump r- running, dude. Yeah. You got the Forrest oh, Gump running. Look, yeah. can you see it right there. There he I didn't is. Think about that. Yeah, that's, that's you true. right I now. Got this, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> you wow. <see> it? <laughs> that's you, bro. He was, in, he was in better shape than me, though. Was... Dude, own it. He own it, running. man. He was running, that's, though. Yeah. It looks like Patrick yeah. Davis because it look, grew a beard. <laughs> that's what it looks like yeah, right well, now. Yeah, well, that's what I'm wearing is that Davis and Sons guitar shop. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Patrick Davis. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Forrest and Magnum up here on Southern Rounds, dude. You look good, bro. I just I was listening to you sing, uh, Riot sing. I was like, my God, That's Forrest hilarious. Gump is playing guitar. Oh, dude. <laughs> I love you, man. Sorry, eighty squirrel. Sorry, I just no. That's that's, that's kind of spot on. Like I'm, I'm a fat Forrest Gump. Thank you. <laughs> fat Forrest Gump. You want? <laughs> but you write some kick-ass songs, man. Hey, we got some people saying they're saying I'm not crying. You're crying for that yesterday's wine set. That one got me right here, dude. Um, why? Yeah, I'm so happy. Lift it back up a little bit. Jesus. Yeah, John. Come on, I man. Had to go there, man. I'd go there at some point. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Got to break a heart. Hey, can I make a? Uh, you might not do it. Uh, John, but I have a request for you. I don't know if you would play it, okay. but my favorite song off the foundation is "Sick 'Em on a Chicken." Do nah, you do? Dude. Do you do that one? I don't. Son of a. That's a family. challenge. If you remember Bro, that, that would be amazing. I literally run to that song. Hold on, let him let him remove his five capos. <laughs> yeah, <try> hold on. I don't remember what key it's in. I think it's in E. Probably not. What key is it? Everything was in G back then. Yeah, a whole lot of G's. A whole lot of G's. (laughs) He sounds good. Oh, that sounds good. That's it. Sick him on the chicken. Sick him on the chicken. Sick him on the chicken and watch them feathers fly. Sick him on the chicken. Sick him on the chicken. Break out the butter and the flour ready to fry. Well, my dog Pete is the smallest dog of all the dogs in my yard. That's right. He's a mean son of a bitch. Jakes his beaming water from a broken mason jar. Man, but sick him on the chicken. Sick him on the chicken. Sick him on the chicken and watch them feathers fly. Sick him on the chicken. Sick him on a chicken. Break out the butter and the flour ready to fry. Pitch perfect. I heard an awful noise coming out of the woods. Matter what? 
Heard chicken screams and knew it wasn't going to be good. I think we lost a chicken. I think we lost a chicken. I think we lost a chicken because I just heard a cry. I think we lost a chicken. I think we lost a chicken. But you can get another one for $1.79. Levi needs to play a fiddle solo right here. After a couple years, his spurs had grown, and he wasn't a safe animal to keep around the home, and he almost took an eyeball from Melania's son. And I was sitting at home making fig preserves, and I saw that kid get kicked in the face. And I knew it was the day that chicken's going to get what he deserved. That's it. So I chased the chicken. I chased the chicken. I chased the chicken and Pete hit him from the side. I chased the chicken. I chased the chicken. Me and Pete suffered on a homemade chicken pot pie. Barrel, be down, ba down, down, down. Metal solo, metal solo, metal solo, metal solo. Sigamona chicken. Sigamona chicken. Sigamona chicken and watch them feathers fly. Sigamona chicken. Sigamona chicken. I can smell the kitchen and it's almost supper. Uh, <laughs> that made my week. Hell yes. That, uh, thanks for playing that for me, man. I love that song. The answer is I don't know it. Yeah, shit. You, you, <laughs> you crushed it, bro. You do a lot, though. That's for Dude, sure. Dude, you man, know. I was actually there. I was, I was actually at the house. During when, the hunt, when the rooster the hit Lonnie's son in the face, and and oh. Zach was, and Zach was like, "All right," because Pete, Pete, his dog Pete had been wanting to eat that rooster for a very long time, and uh, yeah. he basically like was like, "Go get him!" And like Hell Pete yeah. looked back at him like with a face like, "Really? I can re- I can really do this right now?" And uh, chased him into a corner, and then uh, he got a shotgun, and it looked like a big old pillow blowing up. I had a, <laughs> I had a. Uh, a special relationship with that rooster because he would crow at like 6 a.m. and we'd be hung over from uh, yes, playing Zach's place and we'd be up in the loft or on a couch or something and we'd hear, and it's like, God, somebody kill that rooster. <laughs> and, and Zach used to sick Pete on him and, and he would, he'd, He'd kind of whip his ass, but then he'd pull him off. He'd be like, okay, don't you stop. You know, he'd, he'd stop him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and when, he hit, when he hit Lonnie's kid, uh, that was, I guess, the end of it. I, I wasn't there for that part, but I, I had lots of, lots of mixed emotions about that bird. Bro. Yeah, you, you, you used to, like, uh, do it back to him all the time. Yeah. I do remember he'd that. scream, and I'd scream back at him. <laughs> Dude, I when I listen to that song, you know your country is dog shit. When you listen to that song, and you just you, you just feel so proud when he says Pete hit him from the side. You're just like <laughs> shit, yeah, get him, Pete, get him. Like I'm like that's such a great Pete just hit him from the side. Yeah. Oh, so good, man. I love that song, dude. Thanks for playing that for me. Um, and everyone here Absolutely. watching Southern Rounds every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Central. That's uh, John Driscoll Hopkins. We call him Hop. Uh, it's easier to say. So welcome to uh, the Southern Rounds family, Hop. Thank you for playing that. We're going to uh, pick pick pass it to the boys out in South Carolina. And also, thank you guys for commenting. Someone just said, is Wyatt from Virginia? And Wyatt, that's true. He's from Richmond, Virginia. Um, yes. And uh, I'm from – they Proud asked – they said WFLS. Someone said I heard WFLS. That's in Virginia. I used to be a DJ there in uh, Virginia at WFLS. And then Levi and John, you boys are both from Georgia, correct? Both yeah, of you yes. are. Yes. So we got some VA and GA in the house. Yeah, man. And, uh, so your dad's there, Wyatt? He is. Cool, he man. He is well, for a handful of days, yeah. 
tell Papa D we said, hey, man, I'm so glad you guys got to see each he's other. He's listening after right now. You can, yeah, he, can, he can hear. He's got a set of headphones on. He can hear everything. All right. Well, hey, Papa D, thanks for being here, man. Glad you got to see Wyatt where, um, where I get to do that next week. So I'm looking forward to seeing my folks, too. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take it over to yesterday's wine. And again, thank you, everyone, for watching, commenting, tipping. Um, we have fun doing this, and we can't wait to see you every Wednesday morning out on the road also. So um, who's next? Levi, what are you going to do for us, buddy? Got an idea. What do you got? Keep, keep it the same. You can tell his eyes are aging. Yeah. A little slower in the end. But he's still got up and chasing. Yeah. A little trouble now and then. We were thick as thieves Running round and running wild He was always next to me The hardest thing ever did was Saying bye to my old friend Goodbye my old friend Every limb needs a tire Swinging from a rope, every hill needs a cardboard box. Sliding down a slope, every summer needs a swimming hole. Jumping off a log, every man needs a memory, and a boy needs a dog. Staring out the window, watching Charlie and Old Blue. Trees and skin and leaves like they're supposed to do. Time is like a river. Levi, you write that with uh, Travis Meadows. Uh, yeah, we wrote that uh, Travis Meadows and Wyatt and I. Uh, right nice. here as well, right in this room yeah. as well. Yeah, That's right. A lot of good songs. An Callum. amazing artist. I'm yeah, pissed Travis that Meadows. I'm not in this room right now. I wish you were in this room. I should have just, <laughs> I should have just driven down there. I, you know, we need to do this together. Right? Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Yeah. That's the goal, man. Yeah, it's gonna come to stages at a city near you. <laughs> stages yeah but their streaming thing is really great and we could do it in a, in a big room in your, your living room there or, or here yeah. or whatever yeah we kind of well, mix it up we kind of do both there's a handful of you know the shows that are uh you know three or four people in the same room and then sometimes it's three people in different rooms it's kind of a, yeah. a little bit of everything when it comes to that but well, Hop, Hop was actually uh, part of the original Southern Rounds that we did at the Carolina yeah. Country Music Fest. He actually did the, I think you may have done the first one. Hop. It was me, yeah. you, yeah. Levi, him, and Clay. And Clay, and Clay. that's yeah. right. 
Yep. Man, it was hot that day. It was. And the subwoofer was popping from the yeah, other it was. stage. From the other stage, that's right. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, as, as soon as we started, it was like, boom. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> we were Clay. in the line of fire from that main stage. We're like, hey, Clay. I rolled my pants up to my knees because I was sweating. So, about <laughs> so I just bad, rolled dude. them up. Yeah, dude, yeah. I got a picture of us five sitting on stage, and we just look like a bunch of sweating pigs sitting up there. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Hey. You got to start somewhere, right? Bob's got, a, Bob's got a setup, though, now. We're in a tent that's off to the side. We're not getting that noise pollution. and It's air-conditioned. Yeah, air-conditioned. Yeah. We're moving on up, man. Yeah. We're moving yeah. on up. <laughs> but, um, man, this is good. We're having fun here at Southern Rounds uh, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I just like to say the time a lot so you guys know what time to join us. You can be part of the VIP at BeHerePresents.com. I'm your host, Kevin Miggity Mack, and it is good to be here with you. I'm going to pass it on over back to Georgia to Mr. Hop. Hop, what are you going to do for us next? <clears throat> He's like... His guitar also got the Johnson & Johnson shot and uh, grew two capos. Yeah. <laughs> so what is that? Is that a partial capo for this song? You got one that just... I've yeah, all the, kinds of capos. All kinds of rigs. I, I, I really... I, I got this from, you know... It, I, I think of it as like a youth group leader thing. Like, it, it's a way to play drop D without, without having to retune. Yeah, and okay. When... These these are open too, so when you hit it open, it sounds like that, Gad, but but you haven't changed any of your tension, so got it. Your chords don't change. Um, sounds good, man. Learning things. Yeah, so you know this is my favorite part. It's oh, going playing by. behind the capo there. Yeah. 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 That's killer. Oh wow. But you know. It's really all about this cut one, and then if I want to raise it, I got to put another one behind it. So it looks sillier than it is. But did you? But this, you did you buy that one cut, or did you cut it yourself? I remember you I, used to I cut used them to, yourself, right? I used to cut them, and then yeah, uh, everybody got wise. Uh, Shub makes them, and Kaiser makes them that okay. are that are short now. I um, remember, I remember back in the day where, where you had had several, and you would cut them yourself at the like you'd go to Home Depot. Yeah, Billy Servany was the one that that's all. And, uh, <laughs> right. Just, yeah. Um, yeah, Billy Servany showed me the, how to do this and, and he trimmed with an X Acto knife the back part and then we, we cut off the front part. And yeah, that's um, brilliant. It's really cool. Anyway, that's yeah, back back to one of your original comments. This is the song that I kept playing um on uh, on the road with uh, ZBB. I, it was a summer, it was a spring tour of 19 and the concept became because we're on the road and because we're traveling so much why not just walk around the places that we go and and get footage of that um and then i brought it home and my buddy harold sellers put it all together and made yeah. a made a video out of it and uh, the guys on the road from the tour were helping me uh shoot it so so this is lonesome eye which is the title track it came out in uh in November of, I mean, uh, October of, of 19. Um, and uh, a lot of this record's about missing my girls. And, uh, you know, uh, I've, I've been able to be blessed enough to, to, to catch up on a lot of that lost time. So not not a, everything bad about all this time at home, but, but we are ready to get back out there. I'm crippled without my band. <laughs> Thousand miles away, my baby's back at home. I'm just sitting in this hotel bar, staring at my phone. If I keep listening to the whiskey, I'll drown in the time I've been gone. There's always some new town. I'll be rolling through, and it don't matter where I go. 
feels further from you. You keep whispering you miss me. But there's nothing I can do. It's a lonesome high out here on my own. Touch the sky. I'm still all alone. Without you here to love me through this crazy, amazing life. It's a lonesome high. I don't mean to complain. I'm a lucky one, I know. I've been all around this world. Seen the beauty that it holds, but the desert sky on fire doesn't burn like the distant lights of home. It's a lonesome hey out here on my own to touch the sky. I'm still all alone without you here to love me through this. Crazy, amazing life. It's a lonesome high. When the sun goes down, the headlights shine on whatever state I'm in. You lay down on your pillow and I go to work again. When you feel the absence in our bed, baby, no, you're not alone. Hold me close in your memory till the breeze blows me back home. It's a lonesome hey out here on my own. I can touch the sky. I'm still all alone without you here to love me through this wild ever changing right I'm on baby this crazy amazing life it's a lonesome life It's a lonesome eye. It's a lonesome eye. Such a great song, man. Title track of John's record. Y'all check that out, Lonesome High. We got Laura May saying, brilliant yeah, song man. in every way, perfect hop. Michelle, great song. Thank you for sharing it. And then... M B R U S M Bruce. I don't Another know. Michelle. Michelle oh, Michelle. Bruce. Y'all know Michelle Bruce? Yeah, yeah. Man, she's been lighting this chat up. She loves her some of y'all. She's, great, she's man. my favorite from the new album. Thank you for that, Michelle. Now I know your first name. And uh we, and we got people watching all over the country, y'all. We got Boston in the house, Virginia, Florida, Texas, California, Arizona, Georgia, everybody. That's everybody. Great. And the grandmama's watching tonight here on Southern Rounds. So Thank y'all so much. Thank you for sharing that. We're going to pick, pick, pass it to the boys out in South Carolina. We got Forrest Gump sitting there. Um, <laughs> and he going, you know, Forrest Gump was actually, you. everyone should strive to be like him. And sometimes I talk and I talk like him sometimes. Like I'll kind of look off and say something. And my wife will say, you sound like Forrest Gump. And I'm proud of myself. And I'm like, well, thank you. That's a compliment because he was a wise man. So anyways, I just God wanted to say smart, that. Man. I was. I might not be a smart man, but I know what love is. Again. Again. That's why I love that dude. He's like, again. He had to see me again. I think it's just because I like cutting grass. I don't know. I'm weird, Levi. I like getting on my mower. That's how I write sometimes. I just cut grass and think I'm in the zone. And Forrest did too. So I think we have that in common. You have the look. I cut grass. That's it. So... Southern Rounds, every night, every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm your host, Kevin Mack. Levi, what you going to do for us, Bubba? I think we're going to do one together here. All right. Um, why, go ahead. You, you we'll do a couple me. together. Uh, we're actually shooting a video for this song tomorrow. It'll be a, it'll be a Yesterday's Wine song. Um, 
it was during COVID. <clears throat> um, I lost my mom probably uh, about three years ago. And um, I asked for a couple things. I asked for uh, the grandfather clock that hung in the family room forever and uh, for the rocking chair that sat in the kitchen. And um, I put it in the garage. I had it in the garage and was my whole, I wanted to refinish it and, you know, put it in the house and stuff like that. But, you know, life gets in the way a lot. And uh, like John said, I think uh, there's, there's a lot of silver linings when it comes to um, getting locked in your house for a year. You uh, figure out what you want, what you don't want, what you need, what you don't need. And um, I was down in the garage one morning and uh, saw the chair and I sat down in it and it was like a time machine. The smell, the touch, the feel, everything about it was like I was with her again kind of thing. And um, after I cried my eyes out, I walked upstairs and wrote first verse and chorus and uh, <laughs> called my buddy Lee, called Levi, and uh, we finished the song. But um, I'm really proud of this one. It's uh, called Rock and Chair. <laughs> Rocking, rocking chair Long before me you were here And you will be when I'm gone A little faded and you've got scars That's what made you who you are So just hold me Take me back to that kitchen floor When life was a little bit more About each other and the love we showed Our mother, God rest her soul Time goes by and seasons change I go back there but I can't So I guess I'll camp on you Keep me rocking, rocking, chair Long before me you were here And you will be when I'm gone A little faded and you got scars That's what made you who you are So just hold me in your arms I know you're in a brand new place And it feels so far away and Just like me, you miss her face But that same blood is running through my veins Time goes by and seasons change I take you back there, but I can't So you Rocking, rocking chair Long before me you were here You will be when I'm gone A little faded and you've got scars That's what made you who you are So just hold me in your arms Don't let go Even if I ask you to Cause heaven knows I need this more than you To keep me rocking, rocking chair Long before me Scars, but that's what made us who we are. So just hold me in your arms. Oh, oh, oh.
Love that song, dude. Thanks, man. Such a good yes. one. Let's give him a round of applause. I hear, I hear a clap from the room. Is that Papa D in that's, there? That's pops. Yeah. Tell him to get up in the camera and say what's up to everybody, on, y'all. Why, why Direct Dad's he's here? He's coming. Come on, man. All right. He's got fine. a blanket and his dog in a lab. He, he's good. Oh, he's like, what well, dog's in his lap? His dog. Gets. He got brought a dog with him? All right. Yeah, it, was All actually, right. it was actually my mom's dog. That was became it my that became my dad's dog. Yeah. Well, we we can hear you clapping, Papa D. We're glad you're there, man. Um, I'm glad you got a dog with you. We know you're doing good. If you, you got a dog sitting in your lap, um, and Levi's about to show you what a choo choo train looks like. Go ahead, Levi. Show him. Choo choo. Um, <laughs> man, I got lost in that song. I was like literally like. Um, lost in it. So did did Levi already do one, or is it Levi's turn to do one, or whose turn do, is it? I think we're gonna do one more yesterday's wine. We don't. Yeah, yeah. To- I'm sorry. I just got lost in the song, dude. That that chorus smell is so good, and the this just such a great visual. I was just sitting there like, just shut my eyes and just enjoyed it, man. No words. It, man. Great song, man. We got people commenting. This song is amazing. Why direct Levi Larry, my new fave. And you guys are shooting a music video for that tomorrow. We are. Sick. We are. Can't wait to see that, y'all. The actual rocking chair is the star of the video. It's got to be. It's got to yeah. be, man. It's got to <laughs> yeah. be. Let's um, let's go ahead to Levi. You could do a yesterday's wine song. You said. Yeah, what, I what think we're said? gonna do one that's off the uh, the record that's out there. So anywhere that you steal our music, you can get it there. Okay. It's called, uh, <laughs> called "Must Have Been an Angel." Yeah, it's about you know some mornings back in the day you woke up and you uh. Check your pants for your wallet and your keys and all that stuff and go, how the hell did I get home? Sometimes still in the day. I thought you were going I thought you're gonna say something else. Check your pants, your make pants. sure you come on, Kevin. Shake your pants. Listen. <laughs> Who'd you write this song with? Tell everybody. I actually wrote this with Jason Mraz. Jason um, Mraz. It was a song that I kind of Zach and I messed around with it a little bit. Um But you know, sometimes you just gotta wait on when when it feels right to uh to write them and um he and I, it took us like seven or eight hours that day. It was the first song I ever wrote with Jason Mraz. He was uh, nice enough to have me out to his place in California. And uh, we wrote this one, and, and um, he quickly uh, helped it, for sure. And, um, yeah, man, it's whether uh, whether the angel be in the sky or, or the one you end up falling in love with, you know. You're lucky to have him if you can find him, you know. Amen. Lost in the bottom, swimming in women, making up a new definition of sinning. Got a little too good at some really bad living. I was running wild. Push it to the limit, any way you spin it. If there was whiskey in a well, hell, I'd probably jump in it. It's a beautiful thing when you come out winning on the other side. Must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free. Seeing that my soul would never be so, seeing that my heart could never get broken. Must have been an angel watching, must have been an angel. Caught in a daze, chasing medication. Enough when you're smoking in a drink, you when your mind's on a different station all the time. I used to call it a phase, but it ain't slowing down. I never had a doubt, I'd ever make it out. I'm lucky to be alive. I must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me. Seeing that my soul would never be so Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel Whenever I'm falling, 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 falling I fall hard But something keeps me from 
falling, 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 falling way too far. Must have been an angel watching over me, pulling me out of the dark, bringing me redemption, setting me free, seeing that my soul would never be so. Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel Must have been an angel Watching over me Pulling me out of the dark Bringing me redemption Setting me free Seeing that my soul would never be so Seeing that my heart can never get broken Must have been an angel Watching must have been an angel Seeing that my heart would never get broken Must have been an angel Maybe I should stop and thank the Lord For sending me an angel Smash <laughs> Yes, sir Such a great song, man Thanks, man Must have been an angel That was written by Wyatt Durrett and Jason The Jason Mraz in California And it is on their record Yesterday's wine, or EP A record, it's a record You can get that on uh, like Levi says, everywhere that music is stolen. That's right. Um, but we would appreciate it if Why you bought it. Hmm. Do you still have that demo that Jason recorded that mm-hmm. song? It's the most like if you ever want to feel uh, lesser of a person and a talent <laughs> and, a, and a musician, like listen, like there, Why has a demo of Jason Mraz singing that song, and it's it's like it's one of the greatest things I've ever heard. It, it could honestly, he could release it. And it would be a, it would be a single and be a hit. I'll, He's got yeah. such a thing, dude. Dude, dude man, I've his never voice. I, it's, I've never been around somebody oh, so t- like. He built the track. I watched him build it in front of me. The entire thing, layer the harmonies, everything. Like one of the most underrated voices, in my opinion. He's he's not, like he really is an amazing. He's an amazing person too. Those I, that I, know know he's had this weird sort of like. Cult following turned into this massive uh, following, then back to a cult following. But he yeah. never, he's he's never left us. He's just every time I hear something new, it's like, damn, yes. he, he damn really it. is that good, man. And he's yeah. one of the most comfortable people in their skin I've ever met. You know, totally. he, he makes you feel comfortable around him because he's just so so good with who he is. You know my, what I mean? My favorite story because that's around the first time I met you, Wyatt, and. You were like, yeah, man, I just got back from writing with Jason Mraz. He's like, he has an avocado farm. Yeah. And I would get up in the morning and work on his avocado farm. And then no, we'd go. That's exactly what happened, man. He called me the night before I went to stay in Carlsbad or whatever. It's like 20 minutes outside of where he was. And he called me that night and was like, you know, what are you doing in the morning? Like, let's start around 11, but what are you doing early in the morning? I was like, nothing. I'm out here to do this or whatever. And he's like, well, I'm finishing planting my. So he has the avocado farm or whatever. And then he also has, he was planting coffee. Oh, okay. Coffee trees. And uh, and uh, he was like, do you want to come over and plant some <laughs> plant some coffee trees? It's like, okay. So <laughs> got up at 6 in the morning, went over there, and uh, with like him and his whole team, for about three hours, we planted. That's what we did for three hours. That's awesome, man. And then, uh, and then started writing songs or whatever. But, um, yeah, re- really down-to-earth guy, but, yeah, one of the most talented guys I've ever met. Also from the state sure. of Virginia, VA. That's right. All day. Yes, VA. That's right. I didn't know that. Mechanicsville. Yeah, Mechanicsville, man. Richmond. Yeah. I know that. Probably yeah. 30 minutes from where I grew up in Richmond is where he's from. Dang, dude. And I'm, yeah, he, he got a lot of his start with Dave Matthews from Charlottesville. Charlottesville. That's yeah, right. You know. Yeah. Virginia's yeah, a melting pot, man. Like, Still see, in the water out there. It's for it, lovers, baby. It is. Well, if you look, see, so I'm from Virginia Beach, and I was out there working with Pharrell and Timberland and Teddy Riley playing these hip-hop shows, country music at hip-hop shows. That's the seven cities. You go up, you got Mirage, you got Wyatt from Richmond, Charlottesville, you got, like Hop said, you got Dave Matthews. And then you head on out east, and you got old, where old Patsy Klein's from, where con- the Carter family. That's where country music started, man, oh, in Bristol, Virginia. Yeah. So VA and GA up in here on Southern Rounds. We don't play. Robert E. Lee. Ro- okay, never mind. Let's go ahead head to hop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robert E. Lee, George Washington's birthplace is out there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Presidents. Robert E. Lee. Cattle. Well, this is songs. State of presidents. Stonewall Jackson. That's right. That's right. Are we allowed to talk about those people anymore? I don't know. I don't know, no, Levi. Just got canceled. My bad. I just we got just canceled. watch all. They're gonna. <laughs> Levi Johnson. was so good playing with you, man. <laughs> it's over now, buddy. <laughs> it is a very historical state, though. He is right. A lot of those, uh, 
Robert E. Lee, George. I used to bail hay at George Washington's birthplace, man. That's how. That's that's crazy, man. Yeah, dude. Really? It, yeah, and they dress just like them and turn butter and stuff. And I'm out there with a weed eater. I used to dump gas out, <laughs> dude. I used to bail hay and like they they drop you off and, and we used to cut grass too real quick. They drop yeah. us off and say, all right, weed eat over here where the pigs are. And dude, they'd leave and I'd dump all the gas out and then wouldn't weed eat and they'd come back and they go, I ran out of gas. There ain't no gas in here. Look. And I got paid thirteen dollars an hour. You so. done, you done, wow! You done chopped down the cherry tree. Look at you, yo! Right straight, there, straight <laughs> hustling <laughs> at George Washington's birthplace. <laughs> Suck it! All right, go ahead, Hop. Your turn. <laughs> what you could do for us, Hop? I probably mm. shouldn't have said that on yeah, here because I got the song about George Washington. <laughs> <laughs> George Washington was my hero. I got the song out. about the got? devil. How many? So what we're gonna do is um. Hold on a second. We're going to do Hop, then we're going to do Levi, then we're going to do Wyatt, and Hop's going to take us home. All right. Okay. Awesome. Can you hear me still? Yeah, man. Yes, sir. I had my ears all the way in. I can't hear in here. Devil lives in a mason jar. His face is clear, but his soul is dark. Picking through the pieces of the peaches. Devil makes you ten feet tall. Swimming around in the ethanol Drowning sorrows more sorrowful than he is I can never turn away Before he comes to make his claim on me Please believe if I could see him creeping up, I'd turn my tail and leave. Yeah, devil lives in a mason jar. Out in the shed in my backyard. Calling me from the hand of Jesus The devil hollers out my name Rolls me out into the flame Drowning sorrows more sorrowful than he is turn away before he comes to make his claim on me please believe if i could see him creeping up i turn my tail and leave yeah, I'll left in a mason jar Face is clear, but his soul is dark. Picking through the pieces of the peaches. Picking through the pieces of the peaches. 
Picking through the pieces of the peaches. Yo, <laughs> all right, man. That straight. That is straight up fire, man. That's dude. That needs to be synced. That needs to be in a movie. Like I just felt it like. Sounds like a Quentin Tarantino movie. It does. It? Yeah. yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. I, dude. I would love for something like that to happen to it. You know, we we have been working on a re-record of it with the band, and the 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 Balsam Range version is super amazing to me. They're such yeah. amazing players, and yeah. Um, but yeah, man, thank you. I'd, I'd love to see that one continue to to find its way in the world. I was hoping I was wearing like a crucifix necklace while I was listening to it when Satan started when he did the laugh and that 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 lick that lick man that doom do 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 is so hooky man it's so good so good thank you prayers going up for that one man prayers going up about a song about the devil hope it gets that's right that's well, right. Right there, y'all. That's Hop here on Southern Rounds. We got everyone commenting, tipping. Y'all just loaded up in here. People just having a good time. Ooh, it's, they said, oh, here comes the amazing laugh. Someone said that when Hop was singing that song. Mm. Someone said, good song. Never heard that before, but it's damn good. You're damn right it is, Evan. Everything's good on Southern Rounds. We don't play shit on here. Mike said, rocking. <laughs> Evan said, that song paints a picture and an evil picture. All right, Evan, it does. And Leave that picture in your head and I hope you sleep well tonight, Evan. Here on Southern <laughs> Rounds, I'm Kevin Mack. I'm your host. I'm fired up, y'all. I'm having a great time. We're here every... Thank you, guys. If you're watching, I hope you're having fun. Thank you so much for being here. We've been doing this for uh, since September of last year, and we've been having a ball. So thank you for being uh, troopers with us and coming and watching us every Wednesday. And if you're new, we're here every Wednesday. So we'll be here next Wednesday and the Wednesday after that and the Wednesday after that. And then we're taking the show on the road when it opens up. Come see us live. We're going to have a good time. Going to take it to my boy Levi Lowry in South Carolina. Come on, Levi. I think we're going to do this one here. It's about uh, stuff and things when things and stuff are not going so good on the, on the thing. Nice. You want to get back to, the, to the, the one, but the stuff and things are kind of keeping you from that. And so it's about that kind of stuff and things. And I, this is the first song that I ever wrote with Wyatt. And um, I think we did a really good job here about the stuff and things. It was a hell of a thing. Yep. She trade Colorado if he take a win. Closes a door for the winner. So cold in and wonders if her love is strong enough to make him stay. She's answered by the tail lights shining through the window pane. Said I want to see you again, but I'm stuck in cold weather. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Can I call you then? She said you're a rambling man You ain't never gonna change You've got a gypsy soul to blame And you were born for leaving At a truck stop diner just at Saturday Night is black as a coffee I won't see you again. But I'm stuck in cold weather. Maybe tomorrow it will be better. Can I call you then? She said you were rambling, man. You ain't never gonna change. You got a gypsy soul to blame, and you were born for leaving. Born.
in the rear view he can see the fire glow his hesitation comes and goes without her knowing and in the distance of the windshield he can see the snow is falling and he wonders if it's calling it's worth one more goodbye Said I won't see it again, but I'm stuck in colder weather. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Can I call you then? She said you're a rambling man. You ain't never gonna change. Got a gypsy soul. Weather, colder weather, recorded by the Zach Brown Band, written by Levi Lowry White Durrett. Zach, and who else was on that? Was uh, that? Coy Balls. Coy was on that too. Mm-hmm. Y'all, it's a big song, man. And I, I know it was such a special song, a big number one, but I think another thing that in, in Hop, um, you were on the stage, man, was such a treat when we, you saw James Taylor do it with Zach at that award show, man. And, and y'all did Sweet Baby James. Um, what a kind of shows you the caliber of song when you got james taylor joining in with you so congratulations on a great song man it's kind of like the songs are so good it's like what do you say it's like it's so hard not to sing that third harmony we heard uh, you in there piping oh in. we wanted you there dude we heard you. always i know there's a big delay and a latency but i'm like ah, da, da. you know like i'm <laughs> I'm ready for it. I just can't. <laughs> it's Straight like I'll, I'll mess it up. You're just trained. It's like something just starts. Ha- it starts happening. You're like, aren't I supposed to start singing right now? Man. <laughs> um, let's go ahead, guys. We uh, we're gonna take it to Wyatt. Um, we're gonna take it, and then Hop's gonna take us on home, man, on Southern Rounds. And uh, that was colder weather. Uh, beautiful song. Go ahead, and uh, you can listen to that everywhere. Like Levi says, music is stolen. Um, Wyatt, what are you gonna play for us, buddy? I'm going to do one more Yesterday's Wine song. It was our first one we recorded. Um, I wrote it with the uh, with uh, Busby, who left us um, about three years ago, thanks to good old wow. cancer. Um, three years. But uh, an amazing guy, an amazing producer, amazing writer. I was lucky enough to write with him just that one, just that one day, and we wrote two songs, and this was the first one. I was at a hotel room out in L.A. writing, and my wife left that day, and the world wasn't treating us how we wanted it to, not between her and I, but us against the world kind of thing. And uh, I started writing the song just to let her know, like, no matter what, we're good, you know, kind of thing. And um, it was the first time I was really produced by somebody. Like, he just really pushed me that day to be great. And um, he was just one of those guys, man, that that didn't settle for anything less personally or professionally. So... uh, I was really thankful. Um, It's called Seven Oceans. Swim the 
seven oceans if it let me And I know it ain't easy to just play along He's find it inside of your heart to hold on Find it inside of your heart to stay strong Maybe I'm crazy Maybe you are I'd walk the desert, swim the seven oceans if it let me. Don't worry about tomorrow. I know we'll make it through. I'd walk the desert, swim the seven oceans if it let me. That's Seven Oceans, Wyatt Durrett, Busby. That is on Yesterday's Wines uh, debut record, y'all. It's a. I, I remember being in the studio when y'all recorded that man. And That's right. With uh, Chris Gelbuta produced that. Boots That's did. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, what a great song, man. Just, man, you guys are watching tonight. I'm, I'm sure you're having a great time because I know I am. Uh, you're hearing some great songs by some great guys, very talented songwriters and good people here on Southern Rounds. That's uh, Yesterday's Wine. Levi and Wyatt. Yeah, I uh, definitely Levi want to say Lund. thank you for having us. And, uh, and you know, it, it just does the heart good. Uh, Absolutely. To play music and see old friends and, and hear songs. And, uh, John, thank you for doing this. We really appreciate it, man. So happy to have you here. It's an honor to play with you guys. And, and it's just so great to see everybody. It no really doubt, is. Brother. Well, John, you've been such a treat tonight, man. So we we figured we, you kicked it off, man. We need you to bring us on home for the last I'm gonna song. Bring it back. Me. I'm gonna bring it back in there in the ocean, just like the just like yesterday's wine did. We're gonna. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I got my toes in the water. Ass in the sand, not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Life is good today. Well, the pain touched down just about three o'clock, and the city was still on my mind. Bikinis and palm trees danced in my head. I was still in the baggage line. Concrete and cars are their own prison bars like this life I'm living in. But the pain brought me farther. I'm surrounded by water and I'm not going back again. I got my toes in the water, ass in the sand. Not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Life is good today. Adios and vaya con Dios. Yeah, I'm leaving GA. If it weren't for the key line, pretty senoritas, 
I'd have no reason to stay. Adios and vaya con Dios. Yeah, I'm leaving GA. Gonna lay in the hot sun and roll a big fat one and grab my guitar and play. Big fat burrito. We roll them big because we're hungry. <laughs> Four days flew by like a drunk Friday night as the summer drew to an end. They can't believe that I just couldn't leave as I bid adieu to my friends. Cause my bartender, she's from the islands. Body's been kissed by the sun. And coconut replaces the smell of the bar. And I don't know if it's her or the rum. I got my toes in the water. Ass in the sand, not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand. Life is good today. Life is good today. Adios and vaya con Dios. Yeah, I'm leaving GA. It's where all the muchachas, they call me Big Papa. When I throw pesos their way. Adios and vaya con Dios. Yeah, I'm leaving GA. Someone do me a favor and pour me some Jaeger and I'll grab my guitar and play. Adios and vaya con Dios Going home now to stay Cause señoritas don't care when there's no dinero You got no money to stay Adios and vaya con Dios Going home now to stay Guess I'm gonna prop it up by the lake and put my ass in a lawn chair, toes in the clay. Not a worry in the world of PBR on the way. Life is good today. Life is good today. Come on. Thank you so much, man. That's John Driscoll Hopkins, y'all, from the Zach Brown Band and the John Driscoll Hopkins Band. And there I am with my freaking mustache. Damn it. Okay. Dude, it's like it's like Super Troopers. Hey, y'all. Meow. Listen, this is Southern <laughs> Meow Rounds. Thank you so much for joining us. John Driscoll Hopkins, love you, brother. You crushed it tonight. Welcome to the Southern Rounds family. Wyatt Durant, Levi Lowry of Yesterday's Wine. Love you guys. Great show tonight. Southern Rounds is just a virtual songwriters round that we get on every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern, and we play songs, and we hope you enjoy them. Thank you to everyone who watched tonight. Tell your friends about it. You. If you see it on Facebook, you. please share it on your Facebook page so other people can see it. Just trying to spread the love of music to everyone. Next week at 8 p.m. Eastern for Southern Rounds, we got my friends Jeffrey Steele, Stephen Wilson Jr., and Bobby Pinson. You don't want to miss that show next weekend for Southern Rounds. (laughs) Yeah. That's a good one. Crank it. Watch that one. There you go, baby. Well, this is Southern Rounds. I'm your host, Kevin Mack. God bless you guys. Please stay safe out there, and we will see you next week.